Okay, I just wanted to do a quick little video to show one of my captured fairy jars that I had made for the craft festival last weekend, um, and also to take with me to other craft shows uh, coming up, so people can see exactly what I'm I'm making, and when I say my captured fairy jar, they'll know what I'm talking about. Um, inside each jar, I put a picture of your child or whoever you want in there. Um, this is my middle daughter. Believe it or not, she was wearing pink in this picture, and I just um, painted her and um, stickled her, and now she's blue. She matches the jar. Um, each jar, inside each jar, or on the side of each jar, there's um, fairy dust that I've made. You tell me what color you want, and you email me or Facebook tag me in a picture, and I can make the jar. Um, on the top, I put a tea light. doubles as a night light at night. And usually there's a cover over it, but it got tore off at the festival. Then on each jar, there's a tag on the side. And on the tag, I put um, a, a necklace charm on all of them. So you can either leave it on the tag or take it off and wear it. Um, on the reverse side of the tag, I put the name of the fairy and um, tell all about her. Um, of course, I don't name the fairy what their real names are. We give them a fairy name. And um, this one I decided to do in the peacock. I just thought it was really pretty. And here's the back. And like I said, usually the tea light has a cover, so I know that doesn't look real pretty on here right now. So anyways, this is an idea in case you're wanting to order one. Um, I know my pictures don't really do it justice, so I figured if I made a little video, you might better be able to see. Um, they're a lot prettier in the video. Um, so this is uh, show jar number one. I will come back with another jar to show you. Thanks for watching.